Welcome back to my channel. Today I have an exciting travel vlog for you as I just came back from Jeju Island and can't wait to share my amazing journey with you and showcase the natural beauty of this enchanting place. We arrived on a Wednesday night and after getting off the plane, we took bus 600 directly to our hotel, Jeju Sun Hotel. We put down our luggage and decided to go out for dinner as we hadn't eaten yet and wanted to explore some genuine Korean food. We went to Baojian Street, about 2 to 3 blocks away from our hotel, stumbled up on a local Korean barbecue restaurant. We noticed many Koreans inside were enjoying their meals and there wasn't a single Chinese sign in sight. So we think this place must be a real deal, let's give it a try. And it turned out to be true. We ordered three different kinds of meat and Korean kimchi stew. They were all so good and definitely different than Korean food I tasted in Shanghai. The meal cost around 43,000 won in total. After dinner, we took a little walk and headed back to the hotel as we were all very tired. The next day, we went out around 11 o'clock and wanted to get some coffee first. As you can see, there were not so many people on the street at that time. We went to Coffee Mama. I had chestnut latte and I gave it 9 out of 10 and we took some selfies there. For lunch, we had Korean beef bung soup. We were the only guests at the time. Despite some language barriers, the restaurant owner warmly welcomed us and even cut the radishes into smaller pieces for us. He also helped us turn off the stove and refill the soup. In the afternoon, we went to Qixing Shopping Street and planned to do some shopping there. But we didn't end up purchasing anything because nothing caught our eyes. We had dinner at Dongmen Market, which is right across the street from Qixing Shopping Area. We tried a place where Blackpink visited. We had turbo key and fish cakes, which didn't really impress me. Later that evening, we also had chicken wings from BHC. They were pretty good and I would recommend it. On the third day of our trip, we decided to embrace the island's nature beauty. Our destination was Hamdok Beach, where we also stayed for the third night. Hamdok Beach is famous for its pristine coastline and crystal clear waters. The first thing we did is to get mega coffee, which is a popular coffee chain in Korea. Then it was around lunchtime, so we went into a local seafood place. It wasn't that good, so I'm not gonna put their name here. We spent the entire afternoon at a seaside coffee shop. We indulged in the scenic sea views and the melody of crashing waves. In the evening, we had beef bone soup again, but this time it tastes sweet. I think they adjusted the flavor to appeal to foreign tourists. The highlight of the evening arrives as an artist takes the stage on the beach, skillfully playing the drums, while the crowd joyfully joins in, clapping along to the infectious rhythm. <laughs> that night, I heard happiness in the air. Even just watching the recording right now, I can still feel the cheerful and pleasant atmosphere. The theme of day 4 is Yudo Island. To reach the island, we need to take a ferry first. As soon as we arrived, we rented electronic bikes to freely explore and navigate around the island. Afterwards, we had burgers for lunch. I had a shell burger. It was so good and I finished it all and my friend had a peanut burger and her comment was it tasted a bit rich next we paddled along the coaster pass took some pictures and check out the interesting charming stores along the way at 4 30 we boarded a ferry bringing our jeju island adventure to a close i hope you enjoyed the video 
goodbye and see you next time.